Pneumatic tubes are a large network of steel tubing uh, that runs between many different buildings or departments of the hospital, underground, overground, inside the buildings. Uh, they move a carrier and its contents. Uh, that carrier is like you see at a bank drive up, but much larger. Uh, we move blood, medication, specimens, uh, tools and, and needs for the operating rooms, uh, but mostly it's blood and medication that are the, the primary aspects of what the system moves. We have uh, 25 zones, which a zone is an area of control within a tube system. So 25 different areas of control. Uh, that rivals some of the hospitals across America, which we're North America focused this time. We have all different aspects of 35 years uh, worth of our product out there in our lab. Uh, we have some that are older, which we archive if we need to bring it in for either training purposes or testing purposes or even troubleshooting. We have the ability to utilize all those different uh, complex components and even the simple components, the different age or vintage of the software uh, components that we have to interface with to verify that the features and content that we're selling to our customers and providing to our, our patients ultimately uh, works properly, uh, works successfully, can scale as it goes from small hospitals that might be just one zone up to hospitals that are 70 and 80 zones, uh, as well as moving five to 600 transactions a day up to over 10,000 transactions a day. So we have the ability here to uh, train customers that come in, uh, both the complex and the simple, all the different features that we offer. Uh, we have the ability to troubleshoot. So if our care organization comes in from our customer care center and they need to look at something or troubleshoot or look at how a customer's uh, system is working, we can duplicate that. We can replicate problems. Our R&D organization can then, uh, which is also tier three, uh, can troubleshoot, analyze, correct, and then we retest before it goes back out to the customer. So a wide variety of operations that we have here from training, customer care to R&D, then of course the software quality part that we work on that integrates all those pieces together. We do the same for pharmacy automation as we do for the PTS organization as well. The continuum of care that SwissLog wants to provide, uh, the SwissLog ecosystem as we say. So that gives us the ability to run the tube system with the box picker or to run the auto farm software with the tube system. Uh, it gives us the ability to run the mobile robots and the box picker and stuff all in a simulated fashion that would be just like a hospital. Uh, it's with the piece of hardware that's here in Denver, we can actually physically connect them together. Somebody can stand in front of that piece of equipment and make it operate. And the folks in Kirkland or Dallas uh, or Westminster offices can see how it's operating. Uh, so just like the Automation Academy is being utilized to uh, video conference and train and do different things across the country, uh, we do the same thing both across the world as well as North America with the software pieces and with the components that we have uh, here in the Automation Academy. We try to keep a fairly consistent uh, set of software and set of hardware that matches what our field customers have. Uh, we are running a continuum of software and hardware that can be as far back as 2000, a little bit earlier. The hardware goes back 30 years. So with the type of products that we have here and the type of equipment that we have in our, our tube lab, uh, we have the ability to replicate a large variety and a large portion of our constituency. So our customer base will have a wide variety of capabilities. We can build our lab out in different segments. And those segments are, were designed and built this way so that we could change the configuration, uh, change the way that the system works, operate software on two different segments at the same time, and to replicate two different problems so we could have R&D working on one or two or three segments so we can have troubleshooting going on the others.